So just a little R32 update. I haven't been making too many videos, but I still do stuff to it. I put this volt gauge in, uh, did the trim carbon fiber because the volt gauge was so bright that it like mirrored off the door trim and that was kind of annoying. So yeah, I'll go through that, show you the volt gauge, how I wired that up. So like I said, when you turn the volt gauge on, it's tapped into the fog light switch. So those come on as well. Pretty happy with that install, I really like those. And right now with the car off, we're sitting at 12.3 volts with the key off and everything. And I'll go through the startup process and show you how it drops the voltage and what we idle at once the car is running. So the car is off now, we'll turn it on. That's the key on, drops it down a little bit. Start it up. And when it's running, driving down the road, it sits at about 13, 9 to 14 volts. Stuff like the headlights and the high beams, you turn those on, and then it'll drop down a little bit more. Shut the lights off, high beams off, goes back up a little bit. So when I'm driving out of the steering wheel, like right here, and you don't really see that gauge at all unless you're really like looking for it or turning. But depending on where you put the steering wheel is how much you see the gauge. And it's pretty bright. It matches all the other R32 lights though, like the radio and stuff. Let me turn that on. The blue is all the same, pretty close. It is very bright at night. So here's what it looks like during the day with the new carbon fiber wrap trim and the volt gauge. Not bad. It makes everything a lot better. I should have did the carbon fiber wrap a long time ago. It just makes everything better in the car. Uh, just not as reflective during the day. Much nicer. So I really just don't understand that one. Why do you have a front plate bracket and put your front plate in the windshield? So I do a bunch of stuff that I don't really tell you guys about. Right now we're just thinking about changing the uh, serpentine belt. But, like these custom cooling holes, I never made a video on that. But, you know, of course your air intakes this side of the emblem on the front grill. And this side's all blocked off, right? But if you get in there with a Dremel, you can cut it out, make some custom cooling holes, and get more airflow. So that's one thing that I just never really made a video on. But yeah, there's probably a few more things I'll think of like that. 